We are back here turned into Good Morning Vale on this beautiful Sunday, this chilly Sunday morning. How was the drive-in, Steve? Was it a little chilly this morning? Yeah, it was. Uh, minus something, you know. Minus, <laughs> minus. Minus something. Anything minus <laughs> is chilly, right? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I tell people I will ski on a blue sky day because that's when I love to go out. But there's a, you know, if it's minus three in blue sky, the sky doesn't look as blue. <laughs> That's so true. You're with Slifer Smith in Frampton. Mm -hmm. We want to welcome you to the studio. Okay. Um, you've been with Slifer Smith in Frampton for a while. You're a very popular real estate guy here in the Valley. Yeah. I understand, right? Yeah, I've been doing this for 36 years in yeah. the Vale Valley. You know, I office right in the center of Beaver Creek Village, right adjacent to the skating rink. But uh, what I want to just talk about quickly today is just the general real estate market. I've been through, in 36 years, I've been through three to four cycles. Okay. And I really believe we're still in the, the beginning of the next cycle. And what I'm seeing is that pricing, you know, from the peak of the market, which was 2007, 2008, Vail Village, you know, Vail Village prices now have met 2007, 8 or exceeded 2007 and 8. Beaver Creek market is coming up behind, but it's still down about 20%. Okay. So little things like, for example, a four bedroom in Beaver Creek, which may cost you a million seven. In Vail Village with similar views, top floor, you're probably looking about three and a half million. Okay. So it's almost twice the price in some of the bigger properties that people are looking for. You know, both resorts are fabulous. Both resorts have great things going on. But what I'm seeing is the value now his veil has jumped up so high again that Beaver Creek is still coming and it, it, it hasn't taken that leap yet. Right. And I think we have this winter for still great values. And then I think you, we're going to see the Beaver Creek market start to excel because the gap is too big between Vail and Beaver Creek and pricing. So tell us a little bit about like fractional opportunities because that's a big piece of the puzzle mm -hmm. for sure. It's a great stepping stone. I have clients who started doing that 30 years ago and now they own a home or a condo or, or, or still have their fractional but have a whole piece now. But some great opportunities. St. James Place has a two bedroom, three bath this week, which is week 52, which is the New Year's week. Okay. And in 2016, they actually get two weeks. We have one at 99,500. We have a three bedroom you can get for 385,000 for the Christmas week and the New Year's week. <laughs> and then wow. we, yeah, I mean, so there's great opportunities for holiday time. Okay. If you don't want to spend a million, two million, three million, you just want to come here for the holiday time. And most likely those people have a home on a beach or at a lake that they use as their regular second home, yep. but they want to be here during the popular uh, holiday time. So let's talk about one particular place. It's Centennial. This is a great spot. Mm -hmm. Number 29 right there on the top. We're going to show some photos of it now also. So tell us about it. Yeah, Centennial is a building that has 29 residences in it. It won the design award when it was first built. This residence here, number 29 being a penthouse, top floors, wow. great views up to the ski mountain. It's the number one rental income producing property in the building, generates over $100,000 worth of rental income. It's right around 3,000 square feet. Uh, the owners just reduced their price. Um, it was $1,895,000. It was reduced about 10 days ago to a million seven. You can see a fabulous deck, south facing, east facing, you get morning sun. So it's a, it's a great spot if you have a large family, you steps to, you can walk to the village, you're 300 feet away from the cobblestones, you're probably 500 feet away from the skating rink, and you can ski back home at the end of the day. I love it. We want, pe we want people to check that place out. Call Steve at 376-4090. Mm -hmm. Go to their website, homesinvale.com. Steve, thanks for being here. Great to be here. Get it warmer for me so I can go out and enjoy that blue sky. I'll do that. Let's find out what the weather's looking like now live with Ty.